Today we find out if the Baconator, named after one of the most iconic movies ever, is worth making at home. We've definitely made more complicated burgers before. Two patties, six slices of cheese, a little bit of ketchup and mayo, that's pretty much it. The only complicated part might be the fact that to do this properly, to do Wendy's justice, we need to make them square. They've never given up on that. I, I applaud them for that. I don't go to fast food burgers very often, and it's been a long time since I've had a, a Wendy's anything let alone a Baconator. But we have one here that we will compare near the end. But before I do anything, I'm going to open up a uh, holiday gift that I got from two of my boys, Zach and Jordan. This did not come from Max, but that's okay. Max, Max has uh, chosen to do his own thing. <laughs> so they said I would like this for an episode. They told me, be happy with this. Did you ever try and guess what something is from the packaging? This is meaningless. And apart from these guys, like, forging steel or doing something over here with hammers and shit, no clue. And it is, oh, snap. It's this knife. Okay. I'm sure you know this, but when you click on a sponsor to add for more information, swipe up for details or whatever it is on Instagram, probably Facebook and whatever, everything. You show a little bit of interest. You get inundated, inundated with those ads. This shit has been all over my Instagram. I came this close to buying one of these knives late one night. There was alcohol involved, I will admit and lots of food and maybe some weed. I'm just gonna say that, I'm, I'm straight with you. But I almost did and I didn't and I'm so glad I did it because now I didn't have to pay for it and I got one. So check this out, ready, boom. Holy F, mother of God. Let's get rid of the plastic, the, the little safety corners. <gasps> oh, look. I'm not promoting this. I'm not pimping this. They're sharp as shit. All new knives are gonna be sharp for sure. Question is, how long will it last? But it just looks menacing, doesn't it? Imagine what I could do with it. I, I, I will use this today. I don't have much cutting to do. A very small amount, but this will be perfect for it. Thank you, Jordan and Zach. And it comes with this, this protective sheath that I suppose you can Sorry, it's feeling like a commercial, and I don't want it to be. I'm just f jacked up about it. That you could wear on your belt. That would be the world's biggest d bag walking down the street with this on my belt. Even here to cook. Hi, we're ready to cook today, and I can do it, and I take this guy out. By the way, there's a Sam the Cooking Guy knife coming. So, so don't buy this. Unless you also want this and a Sam the Cooking Guy knife that should be out in end of March. Fingers crossed. Okay, so let me tell you what the deal with this burger is. They're two quarter pound patties, square. So I went to the store, I was getting a half a pound of ground beef and I went, nope. I'm gonna get a quarter pound of ground beef, which is here, right? Nothing very exciting. And I will get some short rib also that I can grind because I have a grinding attachment for my mixer, which I came home and cannot find. So I'm gonna do this by hand, which is an option. It's not a perfect option, but it's gonna be a more delicious option than if I chose not to do this by hand and just went with two of these. Cool? Cool. Let's go. We start by getting out some short rib. Now this is a pound and a half. I don't need this. I need a quarter of a pound. But you see, what I like is I like the fat content. So let's find out, using our scale, just how much this will weigh. Ounces. So I don't want bone, obviously. 0.2. Tiny bit more. I can do that math. I can do that math. Watch. 
Yep, it's close enough. I'll take a little bit of this fat off. Because when I buy the ground beef, which is here, this is 80-20. 20% of this is fat. So I want 20% of this short rib to also be fat. And this looks like I'm close. Because I don't have my grinder, I need to do this. It's a good day to have this knife. So I'm just gonna chop little tiny pieces. And then when I'm done with all of this, I'll give it another run through with the blade and it should be fine. You know, and I've said it before, if you freeze your meat for, you know, 45 minutes or so before, it'll be much easier to cut. And we didn't, and that'll be fine. We're still gonna be okay. So thin strips, we stack them up, cut them like this. It's the addition of a different beef flavor that will make this burger way better than if it was just straight ground chuck by itself. So it's pretty good, but I just want to do this. Just a little bit more chopped up. I've got to say I like the size of this blade for like picking up stuff. That's pretty damn good. Now we can take this and put it in our bowl and we can add the ground beef. You can see the color change. That's going to do amazing stuff. A little salt and pepper and we mix. So look, I'm using short rib. We've done this before with brisket. You could use skirt steak, you could use flank, you could use anything that will, that will add something different to the flavor. It's all good. It's all very good. Now all I need to do is turn this half pound mix into two quarter pound square patty. I'll measure it out. Which is there, oh perfect, 25.3, 0 0.25.3, 0 0.26, we're good. Okay, so let's turn these into two. I'm gonna put them on wax paper because it'll be easier to get off. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of oil on my hands, which will help this form. Well, I know Wendy's is not doing this by hand, and that's fine. Look, I'm so turned on by this color, and, and not in a sexual way, but I'm excited because I know how the flavor will be impacted so nicely by this. Righty, and number two. In fact, I'm glad that I couldn't find my grinder because I think if I had, some of you would have said, oh, I don't have a grinder, I can't do that. Well, guess what? Clearly, I didn't need a grinder. And if it encourages you, that makes me even happier. I don't think we've ever made a square patty before. Never. Nope. First time. And by the way, um, the guy that started Wendy's is a guy named Dave Thomas. And Wendy it was his daughter. He named it after her. Pretty certain of that. Anybody here know you guys are all too f***ing young? Uh, that's interesting. I, I think that's true. Sounds about right. We should, we should fact check that. So I'm back and uh, these look pretty even. I think, Perfect. Max, we're, uh, we're almost ready to cook. You wanna take a look from the top? Look how nice those look. And we're there. So, a little bit of oil. Let's see. It's a little bit of oil. And then, I'm gonna just use these patty papers to support. And no, I'm not using the other knife because, ah, in a break, I got all anal and cleaned it and put it away. Stupid me. Ah. Okay, ready? Here we go. One and two. Cook away, my little friends. Oh, my God, I can smell short rib, beef, whatever it is. It's way better than just regular. Way better than just regular ground beef. And while those are cooking, we can get our bun prepped. 
get our bun prepped. You know me, I like some butter. Sorry, I apologize. Oh, and yes, yeah, so much for us being healthy. But I'm only going to have a bite of this whole thing. Maybe two. Okay, maybe three. These will go on. It's a brioche bun. It's a delicious brioche. There's more egg in this than there is in a regular bun. Hence the beautiful color. And oh my God, I'm so happy. And when you can see that they're about halfway done, it's time to flip. Perfect. Perfect. Once they get the flip, the second side goes faster. Now they get some cheese. Telling you, this is smelling amazing. Let's check our buns. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, we can leave those come over here and start to build. We're ready to build, but I have a poll question. First, we were talking in a moment of not anything, and Fortnite came up, and I'm curious how many of you play it. So poll question, do you play Fortnite, yes or no? Let's build. Bottom bun. It's all cool. We'll take the first of our cheesy half chuck, half short rib patties, lay it on there perfectly. I made bacon in advance, and this burger has six pieces. And these are basically half sizes of regular bacon, because the whole one would be like that. Now the second oh-so-beautiful square patty comes up with the melty cheese. Oh my God, I'm in love with the smell. Second set of three pieces of bacon. Holy shit. I'm so happy. And now the top bun, and it gets only two things. One is ketchup. And two is mayo. And I'm sure they don't do this, but I will give them a little mix because it bugs me that they wouldn't. I don't know that yet. We're going to find out when we open. And that goes on top. That, ladies and gentlemen, is our homemade Baconator half chuck, half short rib. I gotta tell you something, I, I love what's in this. If I was gonna make a bacon cheeseburger, this would be it. I'd probably add caramelized onions, but that's all. But the way it's set up, the simplicity is what I like, but this is my version. And here's theirs. Let me just even these guys out a bit. Now look, this was ordered a while ago. And it's not completely fair. Maybe it's not fair at all. And here's theirs. I don't know what the best side is. Probably that. Okay, so now, of course mine is fresh. Of course mine is taller because it hasn't been wrapped and then and squooshed around and, you know, fries eaten by the delivery guy. But I'd say we did a pretty good job, Max. Don't you think? I think so. How's that side? Beautiful. How's that side? F***ing great, huh? Oh, yeah. Should we cut them both and have a bite of both? Yes. So here's the Wendy's. I brought the knife back out. I had to. There's the Wendy's. And here's the... Here's the cooking guy. Do we have a preference so far? Yeah, I'll take yours. Well, let's have a bite. Let's taste test both. That would be... And by the way, their bun is... It is a similar type bun, really is. Let's go, let's have a bite. So I know they say six pieces of bacon and here's a bunch right here. But their pieces are not very big. My half pieces are bigger than their pieces. That's okay, it's okay, it's okay. No, I mean, mm, a little dry, but it's not fresh. That's the thing. If I could make this in a Wendy's parking lot and then buy one at the counter and bring it out and have them at the same time, that might be a fair comparison. So, mine. 
I will now bite. Here. No comparison. Bacon's way better. The beef is way, way better. That's what I, if I have any takeaway in mind, it's that the beef tastes super like beefy. That short rib has just done some amazing things in there. Damn. Damn. All right. What have we learned? We've learned you can make a square burger. We've learned that you can add short rib or or brisket or or flank or skirt or whatever you want as an addition to the regular ground beef. And you just gotta you just gotta you just gotta make it. Like I know we started off the year by going, we're gonna eat healthy, and I am gonna eat healthy. I'm gonna have one more bite and I'm gonna call it a day. That's the key. Little cocktail. Little bit of this. Another little cocktail, no more of this. Sometimes I prefer to drink calories. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hope your 2020 is off to a good start. And um, I don't know. Oh, answer the poll. Are you a, um, what the fuck's it called? Fortnite. Jesus Christ. Are you a Fortnite player? Yes or no?